Skinner. The CHP released this report and detailed its findings in 541 pages. It was an intensive investigation, and while they say there are still so many questions for survivors and family members, ultimately, CHP blames that FedEx driver. You can say it's closure, but what, what these families feel, it will never be closure. The sister of Ishmael Jimenez, one of five SoCal high school students killed in last April's devastating crash, reacted to the outcome of CHP's year-long investigation. We haven't gotten all the answers that I wanted. Answers to questions like why the FedEx driver slammed into the school bus headed toward Humboldt State University. Driver fatigue could have been a factor, but we were unable to prove that. CHP investigators reconstructed the accident, analyzed the signage, road conditions, and accident history along that stretch of I-5 near Orland, determined to be below average. They found the FedEx driver made no movement to avoid what was to come. The underlying cause of the crash was uh, driver Timothy Evans, uh, the driver of the Volvo FedEx truck, uh, allowing his vehicle to travel across uh, the median in an unsafe turning movement. The result, 39 injured and 10 dead, including five students, three adult chaperones, and both drivers. The drivers were basically gone. The, the mechanical information was gone, so they're not left with a lot. Some survivors are suing FedEx for negligence as well as the bus company for not having proper emergency procedures in place. These kids went through unbelievable horror, and uh, it's something that's going to be with them probably the rest of their lives. I heard this, heard the bra brakes, I heard the screeching, and I heard the sound of the impact, and it was really just devastating. Elijah, now a freshman at Humboldt State, is a survivor. He thinks about how easily he could have lost his life, like his friend who was sitting right next to him at the time of impact. And I remember his face every single day, and every single day he's not here, and I am. Elijah did have to take off a semester to cope with a loss, but says he is determined to succeed in honor of the students who lost their lives. Meanwhile, the NTSB is completing its investigation into that devastating crash. Reporting from Hacienda Heights, Christina Pascucci, KTLA 5 News.